CutBrains is really different from other companies in the software because we are in a unique position. We can use our tools to develop our own tools, which gives us a perspective because we are software developers ourselves. I would say it's a philosophy because whenever we think that we can do something which is useful for other people, it's because we think that it's going to be useful for us in the first place. That's not only the case. For instance, we build a programming language and one cannot say that it's strictly needed, but we believe that sometimes we just feel that it's the right thing to do. One of the great things at JetBrains is that we do get a say on what we work on and what goes into the product roadmap. And part of this comes from the fact that we do dog food our products. Dog food is basically where you have to use your own product, eat your own dog food. This is the only real way to learn by your own experience if your product is good or not. It really helps us to understand, to be our users. There is no them. Like, we are our users, so we really understand what works, what doesn't work, what we want to improve, and so on. We get to test uh, our features ourselves. Uh, we can quickly discover bugs, find out if they actually meet the requirements and needs of us as users. With this, we have to be careful that uh, we don't ignore what other users say and that we do still Keep that in mind, that our way isn't the only way. Obviously dog fooding has its limitations. For instance, it doesn't work when you try to implement something you don't use. And sometimes there are many ways to do the same thing, to solve the same task. In such a situation, you will be always a little bit biased towards the way you prefer to do it. That's why if you do dog fooding, it's important to have different people in your team who have different approaches to solving tasks, who have different opinions. Otherwise, uh, you'll just do a product you can use yourself and other people can't. If you only use dog fooding, you develop a bias and you have to be using different techniques to mitigate that. What's first and most important idea is we use this uh, thing called Early Access Program or EAP when we provide for free an ability to use our software in very early stages. People from the community can influence the final design and tell us early if something doesn't work. That allows uh, our community to really influence where the product or the language is developing. We tend to rely a lot more on our statistics and reports from users. So if we can easily see that a feature is used a lot, we can try and make sure that we will spend some time and effort on this feature. Uh, and likewise, if a feature isn't used so much, maybe that's an indication that we need to do something about that. Most of the methods are to try and actually get input from other users, other stakeholders uh, into the product. We use very different resources and tools of communications with uh, all these people. We go to conferences, different events, meetups. We not only share with the community what is going on in the in the product or in the company, but also we gather feedback from the community and share it with the teams. We have uh, so much feedback coming on from dog fooding, from early access programs, from uh, various data sources, and it's a tough work to balance these feedbacks. What we do is we take this responsibility back to the developers. So they are developers, they are testers as a dog food users. They are also program manager to make sure that they are processing feedback from the users carefully and in full. Usually when some team member has an idea and if he can try it, check if it works, then usually this person just does it and then we can check out the result if it was good or not. Because it's really important for team members to be able to try their ideas right now when the ideas emerge, it's really motivating and uh, some of the, I think, some of the coolest features appear this way. It takes courage and curiosity to be innovative and our approach help us and everyone to achieve these goals and uh, we really want to share these values in order to, to improve our lives and uh, to make our world a better place. There is this idea that software is very complicated. 
you have to be using so many technologies, all the technologies change all the time, so you have to be working hard to keep up with the latest advancements, and you'd hate what you do because it's so hard. In reality, it's the opposite. If people doing programming normally, they love it, because it, it gives you this feel of you can do something out of nothing, and it gives you a drive. And our, I would say, a mission would be to support this drive, to make people happy.